What's up guys, it is Saiku or Sam here and welcome back to the channel and today I'm super excited to bring you guys a brand new asset review and in this video we're going to take a look at the asset called 1971 Sagon Retro Office. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below and also make sure to subscribe so you stay up to tune for new videos coming soon and also guys we're running a giveaway on the channel and you can join by clicking the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment so make sure to click that link and join the giveaway it's just two days left for this giveaway but there are going to be many more soon but with that being said guys let's get right into the video Alrighty guys, so first and foremost, just a little bit of quick information. Who's the developer? Well, RetroOffice is a model pack developed by The Cogon Studios and is published under 3D Environments Urban category on the Asset Store. And it was actually a pretty famous asset pack in UE4 and now it's supported on Unity as well. This 3D model pack comes with a price tag of 75 bucks, so 75 US dollars. And you can use this asset to design your own military style office from the 1971s. And it has 2 to 4K textures and PBR ready models, so you're ready to go with that. Primarily, it's used for high quality games, either first or third person, so you can pick one of these two. And it's got an incredible art style which suits any good looking game, really. Um, I think the best way of using this asset would be in a game which would revolve quite a bit around one or several offices that might make use of the 70s style. And even if your game doesn't really use any kind of offices, you might still want to use it for indoor sceneries where you just want to fill your scenes a little bit more with props to make sure they don't look empty. That's just my opinion on this. And guys, before we get into pros and cons about this asset, I'm just going to talk a little bit short about developer response. So how fast is the developer response? when was this asset updated lastly and when was the initial version released so first and foremost it was released 13th of this month actually and the current version is the initial release as well so the asset is at 1.0 and it's pretty new there are so far no reviews published on the asset store page right now but they have a support email set up and ready which is also published on the store page so i believe they're very ready for actually supporting their customers now for the pros and cons guys we're gonna begin with the pros and continue on with the cons so first and foremost for the pros incredible quality on each and every model you get from this asset pack they really do look gorgeous in your scenes you also have a huge variety of 90 different models and props to use within which is quite a lot for this price range honestly in the asset pack you also get some custom particles and scripts focusing on animation which is pretty cool seeing from the asset developer to actually include that from the example scene and some custom ones to make sure you actually get a good head start with this obviously you also have a very great looking demo scene also as shown in the video and on the asset store page so if you want to check that out you can also check out the asset store page it has some more shoots and footage of the of the scene that you actually get in the asset pack as well one more pro that i really found useful was the fact that you get all these lut's and post processing and everything else using the example scene as independent resources in the asset pack which i'm also going to show you guys in just a bit but primarily this was useful for me because i'm working with multiple scenes and i really like the lut they use in this in this example scene that you get with the asset pack so i thought hey i could actually use this for my future scenes and then i just realized i had it ready on the go and last but not least for the pros part great performance on my lower end computer as well from what i realized like on my main computer i'm not running a beast but i'm running a 1070 gtx so it's pretty good and it's you know obviously handling the scene pretty well but this also ran pretty smoothly on my 950 as well so i'm really satisfied with the quality because my 950 was not really that much of a beast, especially with the gigabytes, etc. But whatever, it's just a side note, but still, I just want to prove you guys that it actually has some great performance as well. Now, for the cons part, guys, I only have one single con, actually, to be honest, and it's pretty much the fact that the price could maybe been a little bit lower, considering that this asset pack is limited to an office, but it's still a huge plus that you can actually use the modular props and the 3D models you get from this asset 
to build your own offices. So you're not limited to one single scene. You're not purchasing just a pre-made scene or pre-built scene. Besides, it's also less than $1 per model, which I'm fine with. But at the same time, when I look at the, you know, the bundle price pretty much for the asset pack itself, 75 bucks might be a little bit too high for an indie dev. But if you're making a game and you're pretty serious about this, I don't think that the price should be a problem for you, to be honest with you. Alrighty guys, so now we're in Unity and we're going to take a look at what actually follows in the asset like I mentioned earlier in the video. And first and foremost, we have the mother root folder here called CC Office. Um, I'm not sure about the name, I was actually searching for something else when I got the asset, but <laughs> I'm okay with the name. Um, then we have the camera animations to begin with and um, oh and also we had the version doc file in the in the root folder But it's not very important for us to check out right now But if you want to have some patch notes, etc You can check that out and then as I said we have some camera animations which are pretty much the Example ones that are included in the example scene like I said the resources um, used within the asset are actually following as independent resources so you can make use of them uh, wherever you want pretty much. You also have the LUT folder which includes the LUT pack for the, uh, for the post processing and then you have meshes which is pretty much all the models and the props uh, like you can see you have some hats, heater, you have some light switch etc like really great amount of focus on small to big props really. Then you have the particles folder, which is pretty much just meshes and prefabs and textures for the uh, particles, also the materials if you want to edit them. But the obviously the prefab one is the most important for you if you want to make use of these god rays, etc. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we have the post processing folder, which pretty much is, includes the post processing used in the example scene. So you can make use of this. Uh, you use of this if you actually want to use it in another scene as well. So you're not limited to this. Then we have the prefabs folder, which is pretty much just all the meshes, etc. But in prefab form, I guess you could call it. <laughs> um, you, as you can see, you have some decals, you you have some props, you have the walls, etc. So if you want to make sure you to use some prefabs instead of just the meshes uh, you can use these instead and I usually use these instead of the meshes because these are also textured and material so these are more ready to go than the meshes themselves and then we have the scenes folder which includes this beautiful scene that we see here and scripts folder which is fan control FPS cap uh, light toggle also if you want to switch the lights on and off um, you get your sexy mood in your scene <laughs> Then we have the shaders folder and uh, last but not least we also have the textures folder. Alrighty guys, now we're back here. You guys are back to me now. <laughs> so we're going to conclude this video guys and I'm going to talk about who would I recommend this asset to. So if you're creating a FPS or a TPS game with high quality graphics and a smooth looking art style and you have some room for inspiration from a 70s style looking office or some props even though, then this is a perfect asset for you in my opinion. Even if you don't want to use an office like I said in your game, you can use the props to fill up your empty looking indoor scenes since these props really do look good in any kind of environment really. I believe you really get quality for your money so the price tag might have been a little bit of a con or like a half con-ish in this video but you still get the quality you're paying for and that's mainly why I am so satisfied with this asset pack besides the fact that this is actually pretty famous in UV4 so you have a little bit of trust there too. Wow that really sounded robotic but <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed your times being here and your time being in the community being a part of this family that we have built and guys if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like down below it really supports me a lot and this supports the videos also and don't forget to subscribe down below as well to make sure you stay up to date for these new videos and new asset reviews giveaways etc speaking of which the giveaway i was also almost going to forget about it but make sure to join the giveaway participate in the giveaway if you haven't already the link will be in the description down below in in the pinned comment as well because i usually do that so it's pretty much just a discord link but you can join from there it's super easy and we're hosting it right there and with that being said guys once again thank you so much for watching leave a comment down below what you thought of this video and if you want me to review any more assets and with that being said i'll catch you in discord see you guys bye bye